Welcome back to Come College Online Ministry and Encouragement. I'm Reverend Jewel Williams here with our Wednesday Word for March 21st. And our theme is a changed mind is a changed life. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to, to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. That's Romans 12 and 2. Remember to visit us on the website williamsinnovativenetwork.moonfruit.com and you can leave your comments or questions in our Wednesday Bible study. So we're continuing our theme in, uh, regarding thought choices and today we'll be talking about truth versus lies. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Father, we thank you for another day, another opportunity to study your word. Now we pray that you would open up our understanding. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. And so I'm reading from Proverbs 12, 18 through 20. And it says, the words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. Deceit is in the hearts of those who plot evil, but those who promote peace have joy. And so I mentioned this last week that whenever you read the Proverbs, that they are set up with this continual balancing of the, the two opposites, the good versus the evil. What happens to the, those that are obedient to God and what happens to those that aren't. And so today we're talking about truth versus lies. So let's look at some of the things about a person that lies or what happens. Well, first of all, lies, those that lie have reckless words. And it says the, the words of the reckless pierce like swords. But reckless words meaning that they are aimed at anything and everything and they hit and they're not they don't bring life they bring destruction so they're reckless it's like i i see that um that ball that they use to tear down buildings and a words of a liar like that they just swing and they hit at the foundation of people's lives and it brings destruction and so lies we have to really look at lies as 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 just that we talked about i believe on on the first week that we started this about murder and your lies really are the same thing. They slander, they murder, they can murder someone's reputation. They are reckless. So another thing about lies is it says those that lie have a deceitful heart. And it says this in verse 20 it says deceit is in the hearts of those who plot evil. And so when you lie and when you have this deceptive way that it's not only just the things you say, but we really have to look at our heart condition. And sometimes I've heard people that have told lies in the same breath say, well, I'm really not a bad person. Well, we really have to look at that a little deeper. It's not whether you're a good person or a bad person, but we really have to look at our heart condition. Because if it's easy to tell lies or if you find yourself lying all the time, then you really have to look at what's going on in my heart why is it difficult for me to tell the truth why is it that i have to be deceptive in the things that i do and so when we say well there's deceit in the heart it plots evil because really whenever you are telling a lie about somebody you're really plotting evil and we just really see i want us to really start looking at the things real raw in a sense because sometimes we 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 tend to make these things sound better. So instead of calling a lie, it's, well, you know, I fibbed a little bit. It was just a little white lie. I never knew a lie had color. It's a lie, and therefore it's a lie. Whether it's a big one, little one, or in between, it's still a lie. And and, and we have to really look at those things the way they are. And if we see them and they make us uncomfortable, maybe we'll stop doing it. And so then the, same, the, the next point I want to bring out about lies and, and when we have that thought process of telling lies is it pierces others with our words and that goes kind of back to the the reckless part it's it says it pierces like a sword so when you tell a lie it's almost like you're taking a blade and sticking it in to someone you're causing injury to that person you are damaging them you are bringing them hurt pain and sometimes Unfortunately, some lies we tell can bring so much pain to an individual that it's very difficult for them to heal from those lies that we tell. And so we want to make sure that that's not where we find ourselves, that we're not piercing others with our words. We don't find deceit in our heart and we're not reckless with our words. And again, these things can start from anywhere. 
you can find yourself telling lies because you feel like you got to protect yourself. You can start telling lies because you want to make people think better of you. Or you could tell lies because of jealousy of someone else and you want to tear them down or destroy their reputation. And none of those things are good reasons to tell lies. And so now let's look at from the positive side, the truth. What is it and why do we want to make thought choices that lead us to telling the truth? Well, the first thing is, is it truth brings healing words. And that first verse, verse 18, it says, the words of the reckless pierce like swords. It said, but the tongue of the wise bring healing. You know, when you tell somebody the truth and, and, and truth, now let me just stop here for a moment. Truth may not always be easily received by people because sometimes people would prefer you not to say the truth because they don't want to hear the truth. The truth sometimes hurts, but the truth, if given in love can become a healing bomb for somebody because maybe I might, you know, be the negative person. And if you love me, you might have to come and tell me, you know, Jewel, you're negative, but you can tell it to me in such a way that I, maybe I might not want to receive it. But at some point I have to think about that. You know what? They were telling the truth. I was negative. And if I want to give the right example before people, then I have to change that attitude. I have to change that thinking and that behavior. And so because I received the truth, then it can bring healing to those areas in my life. And so healing, truth is all, truth always brings healing. It's a matter of whether the person receives it or not. The other thing about truth is it says it promotes peace. And it says uh, in verse 20, deceit is in the heart of those who plot evil, but those who promote peace have joy. And so when you're telling the truth, you're promoting peace. You're, you're trying to look at things in the right way. You want to be just. You want to be fair. You want to make sure that to the best of your ability, you are presenting those things which would help people. And therefore, that brings unity, that brings peace, and that brings joy. Again, it goes to the point of whether somebody receives it or not. But that still has no reason. That still has nothing to do with whether you're truthful or not. You have to make the decision to be truthful. If people receive that truth, that then is between them and God, but you must always be willing to tell the truth. And then the final point is truth lasts forever. And we talked about, he, well, here it talks about a lying tongue lasts only a moment, but truth endures forever. First of all, the truth endures. Why? Because it doesn't shift and it doesn't change. See, if I lie today, I got to remember the lie and then I have to be able to carry on to keep adding on that lie. See, if I just tell the truth, I, I don't have to try to remember it because it's the truth is the truth now. It'll be truth tomorrow. It'll be the truth next week. See, truth does that. It's consistent. It is always going to last. And so when we're truthful, we don't have to worry about going back to fix things we said or to try to remember who did I tell what to and who did I tell this to. I don't have to do that. Truth lasts forever. If I tell you something that is true today, it will be. It will always be true. And so, again, we, we're talking about those thought choices. Do we decide to, to tell lies? And, and, and again, I said we tell lies for different reasons. But if 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 I want to live with God, if I want to have a right relationship with God, then I have to make the decision to walk by the spirit man, walk by the way Christ would have me to walk. So I have to make those thought choices that will lead to me telling the truth, even though I would prefer not to say none. If God tells me to speak, then I might speak so that my words will bring healing. I have to be willing to confront sometimes. But you do it in love and you do it in God's timing. But that will promote peace. It promotes healing. And it will last forever. God's truth always will be the truth. And so we have to be like-minded to be willing to tell the truth. So I, I encourage you as you go through your week this week to just really think about that. How do, how do I continue to walk in the truth and lie about nothing? And, and, and even though I've been talking about lies that we speak, don't even live a lie. We need to make sure that we're living the truth, that we're not even lying to ourselves in the things that we do. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to, to study your word. Now we pray that you would help us in all things so that we can live the truth and be the truth before people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless.